So you guys, like, the ultimate main quest in the ultimate dharma is Frodo in the ring. Frodo in the ring. You guys need to go to Mordor and, like, drop the ring. And it's, like, it's painful and it sucks and it's terrible. And you're going to be thirsty. And you're willing to do it because it's the main quest because that's your dharma. So this is why I love doing this, right? Because all of you guys are wrong and none of that helps anyone. I mean, sorry, all of you guys are right, sorry, and none of that helps anyone. So, like, we can talk about values and desires, and it doesn't help anyone. Like, okay, so you guys say, like, okay, it's internal, I completely agree. Higher purpose, completely agree. Desires are biological drives. Okay, fine, desire is one. Like, all of that stuff is true, and it doesn't help anyone. So here's the, here's the answer, okay. So, I I do think that desires are external and and... Values are internal, but values are what drive you to action. But both can drive you to action, but values, generally speaking, drive you towards action in spite of suffering, and desires rarely do. But you can desire something en en enough, and it can kind of drive you to action anyway, despite negativity. So what the yogi said is that desires have their origins in the indriyas, and the indriyas are the sense organs. So if it originally comes from a sense organ then it's a desire. So let's just think about that. What does that mean? So let's think about, I want a hot dog. Is that a desire or a value? Right? Why? Like, you got, can we all agree that it's a desire, right? Even if you don't accept it, so forget the answer that I gave you guys. Just think about it for a second. If I'm walking down the street and I want a hot dog, like, where? what is that? That's a desire, right? Like, we don't think about, like, when we think about, like, what are your values? Like, when you have a mission statement from an NGO or a nonprofit, eating hot dogs is not going to be on there, right? Like, that's not the kind of thing that goes into a mission statement because values go into mission statements. Not eating hot dogs. If I want a particular car, where does that come from? Value or desire? Right, okay. So then we get into this issue of materialism. So are all ma are all desires material? And I'm talking about hot dogs and cars. And that is not necessarily... So does that mean that all desires are material? So let's say that I'm walking down the street and I see a guy my age and a girl roughly my age holding hands sitting on a park bench. And then I say to myself, I want that. That's not material, right? So is that a desire or a value? Ah, see, now we're getting, we're getting tricky, right? So this is exactly why we're having this conversation. So the yogi said, if it comes from the indriyas, it's actually a desire. So not all desires have to be materialistic. And so if we think about something like loneliness, so like loneliness and, and a feeling like, a, like if you're missing companionship, that doesn't come from a particular sense organ, right? That feeling comes from within. Indriya is I-N-D-R-I-Y-A. Okay? So the first thing to understand is that if you're thinking about your goals in life and the, the goals that you set for yourself, where do they originate? Do they originate in things that you saw? Did you walk down the street and see your friend who used to weigh 400 pounds and now weighs 160 and then you say to yourself, man, I want to lose weight. That doesn't sound materialistic. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds like noble. It sounds like a good goal, right? Like any doctor can get behind that. And yet, what happens when you try to pursue that goal, right? Like, what happens? You fail, right? Why? Because it's a desire. So it's a good desire. Desires don't have to be evil. Even if you look at someone eating a salad and you're like, man, I should eat more salad. It's still a desire. So the key is to find values because values drive your internal, like, like that's where motivation comes from. It's fulfillment of values. 
And the problem is that most people don't even understand what their values are. So like, if you're like, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to have a very um, poor sense of what Twitch chat is, but I'm just going to think about the person that I work with who like is the most desperate. So if you're 24, unemployed, living at home, playing video games all day, that's the person that I started streaming for, by the way, that person. You think about the goals that you set up, they're all based on desires. None of them are based on values. That's the problem. You think about financial independence, wonderful. You think about moving out of the house, also wonderful. You think about, you know, wanting this and wanting that and not wanting this and not wanting that, looking this way, feeling this way, not being overweight, eating healthy, like all wonderful goals, all desires. All desires. Because they're based in the indriyas. So that's not what naturally motivates behavior. Like you can, you can motivate behavior through desires, but if you really want to move forward, you need a dharma. Because a dharma tells you that you can't afford to fail because it's bigger than you. It's a duty. It's a responsibility. And we see this because the cool thing is when I talk to that 24-year-old or 19-year-old or 31-year-old, and we see how far they are willing to go for a friend, it's amazing. They're not willing to do anything for themselves. But if it comes to a friend, like if your friend is sick and they need like nutritious, healthy food, then they'll do it. Because that's your dharma. Right? Helping a friend is a dharma that you can get behind. That doesn't have to do with a desire. You guys see that? Like it doesn't come from the sense organs. Helping your friend is not like you're not walking down the street and you're like, man, that guy in the car next to me, he's carrying a bag and that looks like chicken noodle soup. And he's carrying it for a friend of his. I should really do that, right? That's not how that works. That comes from within. That's a value. So the biggest problem is that the things that you're, the things that drive you forward are desires and desires are not going to stand up. That once again, like this is coming full circle. When I was, when I, we were talking about progress or growth, you're thinking about a positive thing, right? So you're like, I'm going to eat a salad every day and I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to be healthy. And that feels good. Like that's progress. That's growth. That's what we want. But when you actually do it, you're not able to do it because it's actually difficult to do. And it hurts. Like every bite of romaine lettuce like hurts you, right? It hurts you deep within your mouth. Because like, that's what it's like. And it's not worth it. That's the basic problem. Desires are not worth the suffering. And that's why everyone isn't a millionaire. Because everyone wants to be a millionaire, but people aren't, wait, or aren't willing to work for it. They're not willing to subject themselves to the things that they need to do in order to become a millionaire. And that too is because, once again, gamers would rather waste time doing nothing than waste time doing something that may not work. So you would rather play video games for an entire year than take a step forward to becoming a millionaire because that may not work out. And that's because it's based in a desire. So if you want to get away from that, you have to base it in a value. Basing it in a value is the same thing as finding a competing interest, is the same thing as finding your dharma. Because if we think about, you know, like if I need a million dollars to like pay for my kid's cancer treatment, like that's a different thing. You know, which American healthcare system aside. So it, it changes the way that you, you act and it changes the way that you think. And it changes the most important thing is it changes dharma, it changes your tolerance for pain. It allows you to choose things that are uncomfortable and suck. When I'm on call for 24 hours, like that sucks. But I do it and I do it willingly because like I realize that there are like people here that I have to like take care of. And if I don't take care of them, like no one's going to take care of them. So it's got to be me. And so that's what dharma is. So the, the, the issue is that you guys need to find your dharma because if you can find your dharma, then everything else becomes side quests. Like the problem is that like, like losing weight is not a main quest. It's a side quest. And the problem is that you treat it like a main quest. Like, all I'm doing in my life is losing weight. No, man, that's a side quest. Making money, side quest. Losing weight, side quest. Getting healthy, side quest. The problem is, like, no one has a main quest. That's what you need. You need the main quest. Because in order to fulfill the main quest, you've got to lose weight. you got to make money. Like, that's how it works, right? Like, in a game, you go and you get this piece of gear. 
the side quest to get the piece of gear doesn't actually, that's not winning the game. It's just, you need to beat this boss and you need a piece of gear. So you need a main quest and that's what Dharma is. Duty, responsibility. That's like what a main quest is in an RPG, right? That's not, that's not like an analogy. That's like the Dharma of the protagonist is the main quest. That's how it works. And like, you just think about like what they do, right? Like they, they withstand all kinds of pain and suffering because it's like, so you guys, like the ultimate main quest and the ultimate Dharma is Frodo in the ring. Frodo in the ring. You guys need to go to Mordor and like drop the ring. And it's like, it's painful and it sucks and it's terrible. And you're going to be thirsty. And you're willing to do it because it's the main quest, because that's your dharma. That's what, like the Lord of the Rings is a story about dharma. But the problem, yeah, where's your Samwise? I don't think you guys realize this. You're looking at your Samwise. I'm your Samwise. That's what I'm doing. I'm Samwise. I'm not Gandalf. I'm Samwise. Right? I'm here to help you. I'm helping you. This is what I'm doing. I'm carrying your pack. You're sitting there whining about how you're hungry and you want strawberries and stuff like that, and I'm keeping your spirits up. And inside, I'm raging at you and want to throttle you because you're such a whiny little hobbit. But, oh, I mean, yeah. So I guess I'm not the actual hero. So maybe I'm not the Samwise. But, yeah, so, like, I'm I'm one of the members of the Fellowship. So I'm helping you guys out. But y'all have to carry the ring. Like, you've got to carry it to Mortar. I can't carry it to Mortar for you. 